November 16th, 1941. Sevastopol is by far one of the most heavily fortified places in the entire world, as, quite understandably, it is the major naval base of the Soviet Black Sea Fleet. Its capitulation in 1855 led to the Russian defeat in the Crimean War, and this is why, already in 1910, the Tsarist regime began to modernize its coastal defenses. And by now, by late 1941, this mighty fortress can deploy a firepower to be reckoned with. Just like with Leningrad, the Germans planned to conduct a lengthy siege to take by starvation the garrison and the civilian population. And just like with Leningrad, the besiegers last week received a nasty news. Last week, the siege of Sevastopol has been broken. Howdy folks, welcome to a new episode and welcome to a new turn. So I was hyper frustrated to see that at the beginning of this week um, Sevastopol was not isolated anymore. Uh, this is again screwing up all of my plans and the reason of why I think this happened is because somehow the, um, the, the, the Soviets had this weird like um, interdiction. I have no idea with which planes they launched this interdiction, but yeah, they they, they just succeeded in uh, yeah um, interrupting my mining operations, and this allowed them to resupply the besieged garrison of um, of Sevastopol. And this is why um, you know the end justifies the means, and I've decided to bring forward the uh, 54th Kampfgeschwar um, day and night operations and these these guys are going straight to Odessa yep That's amazing. And they will be reassigned to the 4th Flieger Corps. And they will also take part now in the um, naval patrol. Yeah. So let me quickly go to the... Um, a ground movement phase. Okay, so here I am, and um, again, this will be one of those turns in which there is not uh, too much to do. Um, I think, yeah, so I received the um, divisions that were obtained uh, by the event about the, um, the fall of Leningrad, and the second and the thirteenth motorized divisions will reinforce um, Herpner's fourth panzer group oh i need to ah uh, have some oh one more snp to unload it ah uh, damn it um anyway um okay this then will be done next week i think yeah definitely 30. also i wanted to move down here, the 397th, uh, 379th, sorry, to reinforce um, this area over here, basically, and the 223rd can go to the yeah 27th Army Corps. So now I have at least um, a decent. Um, yeah, like 62 defensive compact value. It's okay. I mean, could be higher, but um, it's it's okay. And then I will also move the 379th maybe here to have a stack of three security uh, divisions. Um, yeah, to hold the line against the Soviet counteroffensive um, railways. Oh, I need to repair then this one here, and then I can move it back here. So now this depot is equally um, connected now, and um, most importantly of all, 
Uh, oh yeah, I have still have the mountain, Divi the fourth mountain division that will go to the fifth army, as well as the 100th um, light infantry division. And then I can just reassign, re relocate, or concentrate down here the 14th Most Royce Army Corps and the 34th Army Corps temporarily, even though I, I, I plan to reattach this corps to the 17th Army, um, but, 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 but in 1942. And um, so the 16th comes here, the 25th comes here, so that I have two divisions in these two hexes, hexes that can be attacked from two different uh, directions. And uh, bum, bum, bum. that should do it. And then uh, so I don't know if I said it in my winter tutorial. Uh, that I made many, 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 many months ago. Uh, but mountain divisions do not suffer any penalty when they fight in wind in a, any winter environment, uh, which is a, which I think yeah, I think it's pretty cool and pretty realistic, honestly. So I can pull back the thirteenth Panzer division. And that's it. So ne ne next next week I can move the uh, fourth mountain infantry here and liberate as well the fourteenth uh, panzer division um, to be used as a reserve behind the main front line. And I would say that's already it for uh, for this week. I don't know when I will launch the attack against Sevastopol, but I, I need to hurry up because if I want to take Sevastopol be before the end of December. I only have like six more weeks, and um, yeah, that's a pretty wild race against time. So yeah, we'll see. As always, folks, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. I wish you all the best, and I hope to see you all next week. And what do we have here? Okay, yeah, partisans, very cold winter, and yeah, nothing, nothing special. Yeah, so folks, I'll see you all next week.